Hi, welcome to Derek Does. Today, we're gonna do these. Hi, welcome to Derek Does. Today, we're gonna talk about these. These are what is referred to as a gilet, uh, or a gillet, I guess, if you're an American, gilet if you're in England or Europe. Uh, basically, a gilet is a vest. Uh, these are particular uh, two vests, this one from Barber and this one from Bellstaff. They're very, very similar. They are a quilted uh, jacket vest, quilted vest uh, with two pockets in the front, zippered and snaps. Uh, the Bellstaff is the same and then has a little collar that comes up that you can also uh, pull around for warmth. Originally, these type of vests uh, would be uh, in conjunction with a bell staff or a barber jacket that you would wear for basically insulation, but you can also wear it as a vest. I really like them as a vest. I think it's a very sharp look. Uh, this is my first, and uh, this is from Bell Staff, and I bought this with a trial master that I had, uh, but as, and I use this as the internal uh, to keep it warm, and uh, this one actually has snaps that will snap into the trial master. So it's one unit. So when you put it on, you're good to go. The bell staff itself is a separate item and then their jacket would go over top of it uh, or any jacket would go over top of it. Uh, I'm wearing them strictly as vests because uh, I think I like them because they're not as puffy as like a down vest, uh, which uh, gives a lot of weight. It's a trim fitting vest that was going to fit underneath a lot of jackets that I own uh, for the winter just to give a little extra insulation where you don't want to quite go to the down jacket uh, but I could wear this and uh, one of my leather jackets and be fine I think um, with obviously a long sleeve shirt or even a sweater and not have any issues and then being in Colorado where the temperatures fluctuate a lot from depending if the sunshine or not uh, if it does get really sunny, I could actually take the jacket off and still be cozy uh, with my vest on. Again, this was the one I first purchased, uh, and the trouble uh, with this one for me is I have undergrown it. Uh, that jacket was, uh, this is actually, and again, here's the thing. When you're buying a Bell Staff, uh, even though it's the English brand and they even throw a Union Jack here on the tag, it's made in Italy. Uh, well, the company's owned in Italy, I believe. Uh, the jacket itself is made in Poland, and it's a size 56. And you have to convert that to get a U.S. size or even a U.K. size. So this is really like a size 46, I believe, in uh, American 46. So it's too big for me now. I'm like 42. Uh, but I'm going to show you both jackets, or both vests, both gilets. Uh, and you can kind of see, you can kind of pick which one you would want. This is what I just picked up. This is the uh, uh, Barber, uh, they call it a Lowdale, I think a Longdale or Lowdale. I can't remember what it is. I'll put it down here. Um, vest, and I'll put a link to it too, maybe on Amazon if they actually sell. I think they sell them. Uh, this one I got from Allen Edmonds of all places because they had a fantastic sale on them. And I ordered two of them. I ordered a medium and I ordered a large. Uh, and the reason I did, it's gonna kind of warm, uh, is because um, the sizing on these things are all over the place. When you go to the website, it tells you this, and you go to like custom reviews and they say this, people are saying, oh, it's two sizes too up. He said, I called uh, Barber and US and they said I should get a medium. I contacted a place in England that sells these and they said I should go with a large or extra large actually. Um, I went with a medium, I'm a 42. This is what it says it would fit and uh, it fits me, fits me nicely as you can tell. Uh, it's a slim fit, uh, at least here. Maybe that's why, because uh, I'm not big here and maybe you would want to go with a bigger size. Uh, so you can get it around because it is a slimmer fit around the middle. Uh, but for me, that was fine. Um, I think I think this is the size uh, that I'm going to stick with. The large never came. Uh, they had some sort of shipping problems or something. So I never got the large to try it out next to the medium. So I'm going to go with the large. It's a little snug right here in the shoulder. I can feel it there, but it's not bad. Uh, it's just 
how it is, I think, a little bit, because I have wider shoulders, I think. Um, so, but slimmer here. So it's kind of a trade-off. Either I go with a bigger size and have more room of just movement down here to fit here, but I don't know. So uh, let me uh, show you close-ups of each jacket, and then you can get an idea uh, which one you want to go with. I know there's other companies that make copies of these, but for me, if you're going to get the quilted uh, vest, go with uh, either Barber or Bellstaff, because those are the guys that came up with this. So we'll start with the bell staff. Now the bell staff is very similar to the other one. Uh, now it does have differences. Uh, it's the same quilt, a two inch quilt. Uh, it has two uh, pockets with uh, what they call poppers uh, that you can go over. It doesn't have that extra little thing like a trial master has, but again, this is for underneath a trial master is the main purpose of this. Uh, they do badge it with uh, bell staff and the Union Jack there. Uh, here you can see bell staff and this is a 56 made in Poland. It has a velvet, which I didn't like. Uh, it's the reason kind of why I got rid of the trial master. The new ones have these velvet uh, collars and I don't like that. I like the corduroy collar because that's to me that's original and feels better than this. Um, here's the back. You can see it's just a straight, but it does, it, it is angled here and then has uh, tabs here to get a little tighter if you want to. Nothing to hang up here, but it does have the uh, strap here that you can use to hang up. The, um, there is no zipper on this particular uh, vest. Uh, it, it snapped, and then here you can actually see these are the snaps that would snap into your actual trial master uh, to give the inside. It has an inside pocket, as you can see there, and it's zippered uh, so you don't lose your wallet and that sort of thing. Nothing on, oh, it has a pocket on that side too. Uh, so that is something different. It has two pockets on the inside zippered, uh, and then two pockets here. And that's the bell staff. Now, if you notice, uh, I have pictures or video of the, I saw it, of me wearing it, and the, um, it's longer. It, because it's made for the trial master, which uh, kind of goes down to your thigh, it's a longer vest. Uh, it's another reason I chose the barber, because I'm just going to wear it as a vest and not so much as an undergarment with a jacket. And this is the barber. You can see it's a little trimmer. Uh, then the bell staff it's cut in like I was saying uh, I also have these uh, tabs that I'll show you uh, all the way to the end to get even a more tight one but it has the uh, two snap pockets just like uh, the bell staff on each side uh, it has a snap front and then a zippered um, inside so it's more of a standalone jacket as opposed to the bell staff by itself and has a nice uh, barber, uh, wider, kind of like a, if you look on a, uh, an old Pendleton jacket of this sort of ring zipper. And it's, it's a double zipper too, so you can come up or you can go down. We'll take it down. You can see the collar is a suede collar, which I don't mind at all actually. It's nice, uh, you can see it's barber, and I believe this is made in Vietnam pretty positive. Uh, it has one zippered pocket. Barber, again, this is the medium size and the sage color. The uh, bell staff was, I believe, just in black. These come in uh, all different colors, too. Uh, sage is kind of like your universal barber color anyway, so that's the reason I went with it, because it's more traditional. There's the back. You can see it's a little more tailored, uh, and then it has the snaps here. Like I was saying, this is, there's one more snap in here. So you could make it up wider a little if you wanted. Has a tab here to hang it up. It's a nice lightweight jacket vest that you can take off uh, and it really doesn't take up that much room.
All right, so there you have the two uh, English gilets, basically, uh, the barber and the bell staff you can choose from. Uh, the main difference is this is more of a standalone vest. This one is more for inside a trial master. And I think they make them for the different jackets too. There's different sizes. Uh, it's longer. The, this one's a little shorter because a lot of my uh, leather jackets are a little shorter. They're not lengthwise like a uh, trial master is. Um, and again, they come in different colors. This is a medium, just to give you an idea. This is a 46, which is actually a 56. So it's, it's too big for me. I'll be selling this one. Uh, I was hoping to find another uh, bell staff in my size, but I haven't yet uh, for a great deal. But these, this is a really good deal and I couldn't turn it down. So I uh, hope this gives you an idea between the two. You can choose which one you like, or maybe there's you don't like this style at all. Maybe you want to go with more of a puffer or some other type of jacket that's, or vest that's similar for your winter needs. Uh, hope you enjoyed this sort of content. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, appreciate those that have. And I'm gonna always try to get something cool out here that um, maybe you haven't seen before, maybe you've seen, but you've never seen one close and you wanted an actual review on one. Now you can kind of get that. Uh, and obviously end of this winter, I'd be wearing this probably a lot. So I'll have way more uh, ideas of, you know, how warm it is, how it works with other stuff. I think it's gonna be fine though. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next Derek Does.